Hi, I'm Paul Isaacs, Director of Product Development and Design with Sound Devices, and I'm very excited to be here today to show you our brand new MixPre series audio recorders, mixers, and USB audio interfaces. So who are the MixPre series for? If you are a musician, a YouTuber, a podcaster, videographer, or sound engineer looking to capture the highest possible quality Oscar-winning sound, then the Mix Pre series all-in-one recorders, mixers, and USB audio interfaces are absolutely for you. Our main design goal with the Mix Pre series was to make a product that would be appealing to the audio novice, but also the seasoned pro. To achieve this aim, we knew we had to make the user interface as simple and easy to navigate and intuitive to operate. And secondly, we need to make mic preamps that even the audio novice could achieve super high quality professional sound. So the Mix Pre comes with two basic modes of operations, one called basic and one called advanced. Basic mode is how the units ship from the factory and allows audio novices to very easily plug in a mic, adjust the volume control, hit record and be immediately capturing the highest quality sound. The front panels of these devices are very, very intuitive and any user would be able to work out how to use these things without actually diving into a user guide. Now, one of the other very important things to make this usable by an audio novice who may not have so much experience with optimizing levels, sometimes they can be set too high and that can result in obviously distortion, or sometimes they might set them too low, which can result in a noisy recording. With the Mix Pre, our, we've incorporated our brand new Cashmere mic preamps which have a really wide dynamic range and ultra no low noise floor. So even if you're recording with super low level on the volume controls, your, the wanted audio signal is not gonna get lost in the noise floor. The noise floor is so low, it's minus 130 dBV. At the other end of the spectrum, if you've cranked your level way too high and someone's screaming into the mic preamp, by virtue of the wide dynamic range of the mic preamps and the built-in super high quality high headroom limiters, you will not suffer overload distortion. So this is absolutely great for audio novices who don't, perhaps don't have the full knowledge of a more experienced pro. If you are a pro and you want to dive into some of the deeper features like routing, time code, gain levels, multi-track recording, you can enable advanced mode, which opens up a gateway to all these features. Now the Mix Pre series, as I've mentioned, are all-in-one recorders, mixers, and USB audio interfaces. They can perform those three key functions simultaneously, which is a unique uh, feature in this category of product. These are all battery powered, so they can be used anywhere at any time. There's a a whole range of flexible powering options. So you could, the unit can be powered from four AA cells via a four AA caddy. That gives a roughly around two and a half hours of, of battery runtime, depending on what features are enabled. Um, there's an eight AA caddy option, which doubles the battery runtime. There's even a dual lithium iron L mount battery option. So if you want to be able to power the units for days if you're in some remote environment like the jungle, you can power these things too. And not only that, you can power these devices over USB-C from a computer or from a USB wall adapt power wall adapter. Let's talk about some of the differences between the Mix Pre 3 and the Mix Pre 6. Well, as you can see, they're both very, very compact devices. They're die cast aluminum devices, so you can drive a truck over these things and they're gonna survive. If you want a product that's gonna last you a long time, this, these are the babies. So the Mix Pre 3 is slightly smaller than the Mix Pre 6. The reason for that difference in size is because there's more inputs on the Mix Pre 6. On the Mix Pre 3, we have three balanced mic line inputs. And on the Mix Pre 6, we have four balanced XLR TRS combo jacks. Ideal for connecting mic line sources, but also things like keyboards, um, drum machines, um, even sort of active guitar, uh, guitars with active pickups. On the output side, we have a, an unbalanced stereo out, ideal for driving into PAs, 
Um, that's a great um, option for if you're in a live small jazz ensemble and you don't want to take a big mix console with you. With you. you can use these devices as a little small mixer to drive these small type of, of gigs. Um, we also have a headphone output, which is a really high powered headphone output, which sounds really smooth. It really does pick up the nuances in the high end, but also it's got a great warm, rich bass sound. Both these outputs you can drive with a whole range of different combinations of inputs. We have really flexible routing matrices within the Mix Pre. So the Mix Pre 3 is a three input, five track recorder. The five tracks come from being able to record the three inputs as isolated individual tracks, plus the mix of those three inputs. The Mix Pre 6 is an eight track recorder. It's a six input device where I can record each of those six inputs as dedicated individual channels and a mix along with those individual channels. Now, the ability to be able to record individual channels is great, especially when you need to remix a later stage in the edit or post-production. The Mix Pre 3 also acts as a five in, two out USB audio interface to Macs or Windows. They use the standard core audio drivers in a Mac or the standard drivers in Windows. We also have an ASIO driver, which you can use on Windows to give you the full range of sample rate and channel flexibility. The Mix Pre 6 acts as an eight in four out device to a USB, uh, to, a, to a computer. So these are really powerful recorders, mixers, and USB audio interfaces. And the unique thing about these products is you can perform all of those functions simultaneously. And that opens up a wide range of opportunities in terms of perhaps you're doing a podcast and you want to receive contributions from voice over IP applications and bring them over USB into the devices and mix them live together with your mic into the device and record to the inbuilt recorder. Now we record to standard SD cards, which are ubiquitous and you know really, really reliable recording media. Um, the other key difference between these products is that Mix Pre 6 can record up to 192 kilohertz sample rate. The Mix Pre 3 goes up to 96 kilohertz sample rate. Of course, they do all the other standard sample rate options like 44.1 and 48.2. Um, we can do 16-bit and 24-bit too, it's good to know. Now we've spoken about the USB-C port on the side of these units, and that offers USB audio streaming, as well as the ability to power from a computer or AC wall adapter. You, all, you can also transfer files directly from your device into your computer without having to remove the SD card, which is located in the rear panel, and saves you having to use an SD card reader. So this is a, a really convenient function. We also have a USB-A port on here, which can be used as a USB keyboard interface. And you can use that for entering data, like descriptive titling data and notes information for each of your recordings or you might want to use it as a wired remote control. On the subject of remote control, the Mix Pre Series also have built-in Bluetooth. This enables control from an I.O. any iOS device, iPhone, iPad, iPad mini, or whatever. And this allows you to control record start and stop, as well as meter uh, the audio, as well as name files and edit the, the names of files really cool device. Now, if you're a videographer or YouTuber, the Mix Pre series are great devices. These enable you to capture the highest quality sound to go with your high quality video image. These are especially compatible with DSLRs. Now, what you can do is use this to capture sound, use the mic preamps, the Cashmere mic preamps on the Mix Pre, connect the stereo out of the, of the Mix Pre into the inputs on the camera. So you're feeding the, you're bypassing the really poor audio inputs in the camera and recording excellent sound. Some really key nice features that go along with that are the fact that on these devices we have an HDMI input. Now you're thinking, why do we have an HDMI input on an audio recorder? 
Well, this allows us to auto record start stop trigger from the camera. We can, with compatible cameras such as the Sony A7S or A7R or Panasonic GH4, you have the ability, the Mix Pre can read the record flag coming down the HDMI cable and that will auto start the Mix Pre. So this is going to reduce the likelihood of you forgetting to hit record on the Mix Pre itself, which can be a very annoying thing, especially if you've just done a great take. Not only that, apart from record start stop triggers, you have time code coming down this HDMI cable. So now you have matching time code on the Mix Pre files that match totally the DSLR files, which makes it really easy to, to synchronize this material in post. Not only that, we also have the ability to take in timecode, standard LTC timecode, over the AUX input. There's a 3.5mm input which can be configured to be a timecode reader. This makes it compatible with a, a huge range of timecode devices. That AUX input is actually a multi-mode input. You can configure it for multiple purposes. Timecode is one, as I've just mentioned, but also it can be used with plug-in power mics. You know, okay, maybe not the highest quality mics, but in uh, a desperate situation where you need extra sources, you have that capability. It can also be configured as an unbalanced two-channel input, which can be fed from any line source. And it can also be set up as a camera return, which if you're a videographer uh, or a DSLR user and you want to be able to check that the sound that you've sent to the camera is high quality and it's clean and it's got there safely, you can monitor that directly back on the Mix Pre series. Really cool feature. To further enhance support for videographers, we have a captive quarter inch 20 screw, which can be very easily um, connected to any tripod or camera or mounted on a cage on a camera very, very practically. In the back of the unit behind the battery caddy, we have a magnetized Allen wrench, which you can just remove, insert it into the quarter inch 20 uh, hole on the bottom of the unit, force the captive screw out and tighten it into your device. So you're never gonna be caught short for the tool you require to fit it to your camera. So that gives you a, a brief overview of the capabilities of these Mix Pre series recorders, mixers and USB audio interfaces. They have a huge range of functionality. I'd love to talk to you more about them. But you know, if you are a musician, singer, songwriter, videographer, YouTuber, podcaster, or a sound engineer capturing dialogue or sound effects, you know, this is absolutely the device for you. If you'd like to know any more about these devices, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer for more information.